hello friends welcome to part 3 of engine assembly series now in this episode you will see the assembly of the cylinder and the generator magnets and the generator itself now before putting uh, the cylinder into uh, the engine he is figuring out how the timing chain and how the timing chain tensioner is going to uh, be fitted because this is the first time that uh, we have opened a four stroke petrol engine and we are technically not experienced in this field but still we are doing it uh, because we have learned it from uh, the net and from YouTube and our knowledge has increased a lot about a petrol engine uh, since we have worked in this uh, since we are working in this engine now you can see what he is doing is he is uh, uh, finding out how the timing chain tensioner is uh, to be fitted and then he will do it now you can see as he he has uh, determined how the timing chain tensioner will be fitted he is uh, moving forward with the gasket cylinder and applying the gasket cylinder you can see is applying the gasket cylinder around the edge where he will uh, after that he will put the gasket and uh, then he will mount this cylinder into the crankcase or the entire engine now you can see uh, after the silicone is applied he has uh, placed the gasket now you can see showing the notch from where the oil is transferred to the to the uh, cam case actually to the uh, cams and the uh, rocker arms now one thing to be very careful here is from where the oil goes uh, to the top of the engine where the cams are and so that and the the silicon uh, does not fill that gap because if it fills that gap then the oil won't be able to transfer upward and this will damage the engine now you can see after the gasket is uh, fitted he is um, getting the pistons ready for fitting into it and you can see the piston uh, has a pin in the middle that will be fitted uh, with the connecting you can see he just stepped out uh, the pin this pin is locked with two uh, ring shaped locks and after fitting the uh, piston and uh, pushing the pin inside he will lock it you can see this is uh, these are actually the old locks that we are seeing in his hand now he is lubricating uh, the connecting and everything required for the initial uh, starting up of the engine rotation of the engine you can say now you can see he is lubricating each and every part here lubrication is important here now uh, you can see the piston first it needs to be inserted into the cylinder halfway and then it should be connected or it will be connected uh, with the connecting and then he will push the entire thing inside now we don't know whether this is the recommended way but out of common sense we are doing it uh, you can see it's lubricated the inner sleeve now these are the actual uh, ring locks that are going to lock the pin that connects the piston and the connecting now you can see he has the pin in his hand now he's going to put the pin in one side and then uh, on the other side uh, you can see the pin um, is actually on uh, on the outside um, edge of the piston and the lock is placed on the opposite side so after placing it he will just push the pin inside and then he will place the lock on this side where the pin is sticking out now you can see uh, before before uh, putting uh, placing the cylinder in he is actually uh, pushing the piston uh, a little bit inside where the compression ring the first compression ring and the second compression ring goes inside the sleeve and the oil sling ring is halfway inside the sleeve this is where he will stop and later he will tap uh, the pin inside and push it all the way through
I can see he's proceeding to mount the, uh, the cylinder uh, into the crankcase. A few of the things that needs to be uh, done is the timing chain that he is pulling out from the cavity and the timing chain cavity and the timing chain tensioner there's actually two tensioner one which you can see is already fitted and the other one will be fitted from the outside you can see he's having a little bit of hard time pulling the timing chain from this side you can see he just did it and now he will uh, push the cylinder to the very edge where the connecting is matched with the where the connecting is matched with the connecting pin after that he will just tap uh, the pin with a rubber hammer hard rubber hammer inside you can see it's aligning now this is the most tricky part here now we don't know how uh, other people does it but out of uh, common sense uh, we figure out that this might be the actual way of doing it you can see he just tapped into the pin and it's completely fitted now the lock is placed on this side on the other side the lock was already placed before now while placing the lock the piston just came out well we had just spent a uh, little bit amount of time here figuring, figuring out how to uh, put the cylinder inside but finally we managed to do it you can see gently he just pushed it with his palm and the cylinder is in its place a little bit of tap ensures a close fitting now uh, we don't know how uh, actually the timing uh, is done on other engines as we have seen on YouTube on other engines there is a timing mark on the magnet and it indicates uh, it aligns with the mark on the crankcase now we don't know which mark uh, it aligns with we don't know that mark but as we know that this mark represents the top dead center of uh, the piston so before assembling uh, the blockhead we are going to do it manually and by manually what I mean is we are going to rotate the engine and bring the piston to its top dead center and then we are going to put in and the magnet and when the magnet uh, now the magnet has a notch cut into it a keyway cut into it with a woodruff key now when we place the key and uh, lock it into its place then there is a mark in a, which indicates a, a, a mark with a T that is indicated on the magnet and that is aligned with another mark on the case now with the piston already in the top dead center we'll know where the T is indicated and in this way we'll know which is uh, the mark on the crankcase as I've said before before uh, we're not very much experienced in engine assembly and we're doing it for the first time so you can see before uh, putting the magnet he is uh, putting the generator now this is the generator that uh, gives the spark and charges the battery and does everything electrically everything is done from this generator
I'm not sure about the wattage of uh, this generator how much watt this generator produces but as a common sense I can say maybe 50 watt because the headlight is a 35 watt headlight bulb and every other accessory lights that it has so probably that's about 40 watt or maybe uh, 35 40 or 45 watt and the rest of the current is for charging the battery so maybe 50 55 or 60 watt generator I'm not sure about it now you can see this is the side now we don't know which side is the marking on the crankcase which shows the top dead center now you can see after putting the magnets in we find out the top dead center you can see this is where the top dead center marking is and the T aligns with this mark and you can see when the T is marked with the marking on the crankcase this is where the piston is in its uh, topest position in the cylinder which is also known as top dead center so this is the end of part 3 and uh, I'm trying to make this video as detailed as possible I hope you enjoyed it if so please uh, don't forget to subscribe like and share my channel and wait for part 4 where you will see the assembly of uh, the blockhead till then have a nice day and see you next time